Oh, but Nick, if they beat the Lions, they'd have what? Gotten the opportunity to get whacked by 30 and <laughs> by San Francisco in right, a week. Right. Congrats. I thought Green Bay was literally title town. I didn't think you had the standards of let's sneak into the playoffs <laughs> just to say we did it. When you're four and eight, your chance of winning this year's Super Bowl is over. And as it turns out, they couldn't even make this year's playoffs. That was when they needed to pause, not, not end, but pause the Aaron Rodgers era, play Jordan Love for a month, so this offseason they would know, okay, does Jordan Love stink? If he does, we won't pick up the option, and we're going to kind of have to be held hostage by Rodgers because he's our only uh, you know, option. Is Jordan Love good but not great? Okay, well then maybe – we see if we can trade him to one of these quarter teams that desperately need a quarterback and improve our team so Rodgers can b compete for Super Bowl next year. Or is Jordan Love awesome and cheap and we want to go with him? Then we, don't, then we can just get out of the Aaron Rodgers business on the same timeline we got out of the Brett Favre business. Now they're driving blind. Now they either have to just blindly go with Jordan Love or let Rodgers potentially hold him hostage again. And for Rodgers, and I, listen, I've given you credit on this one before, but this is like, you know, one of the many fine wines in your cellar, Colin. This take is aging quite nicely. <laughs> I, two years ago, Aaron, or th let me, let me, quick timeline. Three years ago, Aaron Rodgers gets whacked in the NFC Championship game in San Francisco. After the game, says, you know, I wish we were able to have one of these games at Lambeau. It's different there. Mm. The very next year, at Lambeau, winnable game. He has a terrible fourth quarter, loses to Brady. The very next year, at Lambeau, off a bye, divisional round, playing Jimmy Garoppolo. The Niners don't score an offensive touchdown. He has a terrible fourth quarter, back-to-back -back three and outs. They lose. The next year, we are now getting earlier in the calendar. Conference championship weekend. Divisional weekend. Now we are at week 18 against Jared Goff and the Lions. Winnable game. Aaron Rodgers tries to throw a pick to start the fourth quarter. It gets called off. Does throw a pick to end the fourth quarter, and they lose. All at Lambeau. All his favorites. Yep. All winnable games. Yep. That's a disaster. Yep. That is flatly a disaster. And there's no – you go back seven years, Colin, or however long, when they played Atlanta in the conference championship yeah. game, and that game starts 31 nothing. That's not – you know what? That's not on Aaron. That defense couldn't stop those guys, so be it. Right. This is three years in a row. At home, you had the – bet. You, you were the favorites in the game, and you no-showed the fourth quarter. That's a bad, bad problem for a guy that's about to be 40. Yeah, when you age – and you get less committed to your, your craft. It could be law. It could be politics. It could be sports casting. It could be football. When you yeah. age and get less committed, this is what it looks like. You're not good yeah. in crisis. Right. Now, I want to go. It's and in America, that's not a problem for Colin Coward. Let me tell right. you, Colin called me out of the blue last night, talked shop for 45 <laughs> minutes. I had to pretend I had to walk my dog, just get off the phone. I'm like, I get it, Colin. This is how broadcasting works. I got to go. This man is committed <laughs> okay. into his, you know, I don't know, a silver years, if that's what we call it. But go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Philadelphia is fascinating. First 10 weeks, they didn't turn the ball over. They were healthy. They were, they were literally like Georgia. They were road grading people. Yeah. Now they're turning the ball over. Now they don't have their Hall of Fame right tackle. Now they're not healthy. And I looked this morning. I'm like, I'm not sure what they are. What are they this morning? You tell me. What are the Eagles? I yeah. have doubts. I like their roster, I but I got doubts. I mean, the team that peaked too early. Yeah. I mean, I think that's – guys, and the bye is not what it once was. Over the last th four seasons, Colin, if you remove the Chiefs, teams coming off their bye in the playoffs are 3-3. Three and three. The Titans lost coming off the bye. The, the Packers lost, lost coming off the bye. And the Ravens lost coming off the bye. So you, you also, over the last few years – we saw the Ravens have an unbelievable regular season with a somewhat unproven quarterback yeah. who had been to the playoffs the year before and yep. struggled and get whacked in their first playoff mm -hmm. game. The next year, the Steelers started 11-0. and 
and they got whacked in their first playoff game. Last year, the Cardinals were 10-2, and two, and they got whacked in their first playoff game. Now, those last two teams didn't have a bye, but if you're – if and Eagles fans get mad at me, but if they are being honest with themselves, when you guys were 11-1, and one, if I told you at the end of the year you were going to be playing your worst football, you were going to be the most injured you had been. Jalen would have either missed games or not played well in games over the last four weeks of football. And you are going to be playing in round one, either, you know, the, the Michael Myers of the NFL, Tom Brady, or the Dallas Cowboys coming off their best win in five years, the playoff win over Brady. There's reason to be concerned in yeah. Philadelphia. No. There's no denying it. That's not being a hater. The, 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 if this was a college football season and we get to the playoffs after 12 weeks, they're the big favorites. That's not who they are right now. Okay, brevity is not your hallmark, but we've got a minute no, 30 left. It's not. Mahomes, it's not. second MVP. What does it mean to his legacy? Oh, well, you know what? I'm just glad that we're all just you, – you know how I knew Mahomes won the MVP? Why? Because – the day after the season ended, nobody talked about the MVP discussion. <laughs> Did you see that? Was that on your rundown, Colin? Was that on any of the shows? That's no, funny. of course not. Yeah. Of course not. It's like, okay, we don't need to pretend anymore. We don't have to throw <laughs> wide receivers and Jalen Hurts in the conversation. Oh, the best player on the best team won it. Instead, let's talk about if Sean McVay's coming back. All the shows did it, and I saw I was watching. Kid throw breaks the all-time record for total yards in a season. Throws for 40 touchdowns. His the Chiefs' third-string running back finished the season with two more receiving touchdowns than Tyree <laughs> Kill did, and nobody cares. Chiefs are playing ring around the rosy because they're so bored with their opposition, and everyone's like, "What's next?" She can we talk about Justin Herbert again? I don't know. He had an awesome throw. <laughs> Here's the deal, Colin. He's the most talented player in the history of the sport. And unlike the other guy who we talked about earlier, who used to have that moniker in Aaron Rodgers, with the exception of the second half of last year's AFC title game, he has raised his game yeah. in the postseason at every single turn. And so, listen, the AFC is absolutely stacked. He has never played a road playoff game. That streak will continue this year, but he might have a neutral site playoff game but since that he's been to Kansas City, they have been the one or the two seed. They have won the division. And their worst season was 14 wins and a conference championship appearance. That's their worst season. He's the most talented player any of us have seen. And that was 90 seconds on the dot. So you just got to give me a, a clock. I can hit the clock, Colin. You just got to tell me. First things first, watch it. It's very funny. Great chemistry, my buddy. Nick Wright, my friend, you look fantastic. Thanks, my man. Thanks. See is, you, buddy. Bye. It is. He, he's a little bit, Mahomes is a little bit of a victim of himself. Is it, it's so, he's so outrageously gifted. And the difference with him and Mahomes is, I always feel like. Let's go. The top 10 NFL teams, according to Colin. Number 10. By an inch over the Steelers, the Minnesota Vikings. Their defense is gross, and I think they're going to lose to the New York Giants. But they're on a seven-game uh, – no, they're not. They, they – oh, whoops, I got the wrong thing here. Uh, only team to win 13-plus games with a negative point differential. Defense is awful. But they've had eight game-winning drives. That's a thing. It is important. I just don't trust this team. I think the Vikings – are going to face the well-rested Giants, and it's going to be very um, uncomfortable up front. By the way, the Giants have gotten some pretty good protection for Daniel Jones, who's now running the football. So I'll put the Vikings in by an inch over the Steelers at number 10. Number 9. But I think the well-rested Giants beat the Vikings. 8-4-1 and one in one-possession games. And what Brian Dayball's done has elected to use Daniel Jones' legs as well as his arms. Daniel Jones, only the 13th player in league history to have 3,000-plus passing yards and 700-plus rushing yards. They've got a very good pass rush. I think it will unravel to some degree Kirk Cousins. I have the Giants one spot ahead, and I love their coach over the Vikings at nine.
number eight. Chargers at eight. I don't know if I like them. If Mike Williams doesn't play, their rushing defense, like the Vikings, is an issue. Herbert can often be sitting on the sidelines watching a game because they can't get the ball back. But Justin Herbert, through three seasons, with a lot of coaching question marks, has the most passing yards and most total touchdowns by any player in league history. They don't have an identity. What they have is a remarkable talent at quarterback. I worry about them against Jacksonville if Mike Williams isn't around. Number seven. The Cowboys, great individual players. I'm not sure they have a unit that's great. The only team, though, to rank top five in scoring offense and scoring defense. And again,